Exclusive interview with paging Mr. Darcy screenwriter Raina Hardy. Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Hallmark's Loveuary is featuring Jane Austen inspired movies this year, including Raina Hardy's paging Mr. Darcy. Kicking off the special month, this movie stars Mallory Jansen and Will Kemp. Screenwriter Rena Hardy is new to Hallmark, with this lovey movie her first for the network. Hardy has graciously answered some questions about Jane Austen, paging Mr. Darcy, and Rena's theater background. Here is the TV show's ace exclusive interview with Hallmark screenwriter Rena Hardy. Paging Mr. Darcy is Raina Hardy's first Hallmark movie. Rena, not only is this your first Hallmark movie, this is your first movie. This is incredible. Can you share how this happened? I'd actually developed the idea for a smaller company that makes rom-coms. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, my relationship with that company went south and I walked away, which was a very difficult decision at the time. But since I had no contract with them and they hadn't paid me anything, my manager was free to take the pitch to Hallmark, which is obviously the gold standard of this genre. I'd already had a fairly detailed outline, so I added a slideshow and buffed it up into a live pitch, that is, a little presentation to tell the executives about the movie in your mind. They liked it, and they bought it, which means that they put me under contract to write the full script. My third time pitching and my first sale. You are an award-winning playwright. How does your skill at writing plays translate into writing a Hallmark screenplay? So all the skills of structure, character, etc. that I've acquired as a playwright are transferable to all movies and television. And I really do recommend that anyone interested in writing scripts at least experiment with theater because it allows you to get immediate nightly live feedback from an audience and you'll learn a ton about what works. But beyond the general TV slash movie skills, Hallmark movies in particular are very dialogue-driven, and I'm used to letting dialogue do my heavy lifting in terms of exposition, character development, moving the plot along, etc. In a small romance movie, you're generally working with limited locations and fewer cast members compared to, say, an action flick but it still feels luxurious and abundant compared to theater, where a lot of producers want single set plays with three to four actors. Honestly, I hardly know what to do with myself. You hit the jackpot with the pairing of Mallory Jansen and Will Kemp. The preview scene where Eloise and Sam banter on how she is not some simpering female charmed by his Darcy cosplay is fantastic. Can you talk about this pairing? or working with Will and Mallory, oh my gosh, they are absolutely delicious. I didn't get to work with them directly as I wasn't on set, but as soon as I saw the rough cuts I was in love with their chemistry. They are both talented and charming in the extreme, and they seem to be having so much fun together. I've been a fan of Mallory since Gallivant, I'm a musical theater person so I couldn't miss that, but I am now a newly minted Kemper. Tell us a bit about Professor Alois Cavendish. She appears to be more scholarly-minded, focusing on the monetary aspects of Jane Austen's world, and not the fluffier romantic drama. She seems to see the characters like Maul Flanders. Everything is a financial transaction. Next, we have Sam Lee, the Mr. Darcy of this Jane Austen event. Based on the promos, he seems to enjoy the attention he gets playing the popular Austen character. What was it like crafting your own take on this iconic character? I suspect we will see some layers with his character and perhaps a stunning revelation. This one seems even more potentially spoiler-inducing, so I'll skip it too. I will say that it was awfully fun to play with references to these iconic characters without actually adapting them. Jane Austen fans will definitely spot nods to more than one of her novels. Dancing is such a big part of Jane Austen's work, literally and metaphorically. How does the professor's inclination to not dance play into her transformation in this movie? She's holding back. 
She doesn't want to admit that she wants the romantic heroine role for herself because she doesn't think she can handle the scrutiny. I'm actually planning my wedding right now, so I really identify with that reluctance to be the center of attention. And what about having actor and dancer extraordinaire? Will Kemp gracefully move about the dance floor? He is a fan favorite in Kemper's. His fan base are so excited about this movie. They should be. I think his charisma and vulnerability really come through in this role. Plus, the outfit is a look on him. Rena, were you able to go to Canada when they filmed Paging Mr. Darcy? If so, what was this experience like? Any anecdotes you care to share? Sadly, no, but I did attend a Jane Austen conference while I was researching the script, and that was in Canada. I had a blast, met so many fun and interesting people. I have to say, they really captured the vibe. In your biography, it states that your plays usually contain magic and sometimes contain science. Will paging Mr. Darcy have either? Only insofar as romance is a combination of magic and science. Do you have a favorite Jane Austen novel or quote that you want to share? Or perhaps your favorite audio version of one of her novels? Oh gosh, I have to say I understand why P and P is always a favorite but I do have such a soft spot for persuasion. The first time I read, alas, with all her reasoning, she found that to retentive feelings eight years may be a little more than nothing, it knocked me back about five feet. Why do you think that Jane Austen still resonates with us 200 years later? The humor, the detail, the way the characters seem painfully real. I don't know that anyone's ever looked at the subject matter in a way that's so hard-headed, clear-eyed, and yet emotionally affecting. Every one of her novels is a pleasure to read, and I wish she had the time to write more. Rena, do you have any message for fans watching Paging Mr. Darcy on Hallmark? Thank you for watching is a cliché, but, really, I'm so grateful to everyone who watches anything I write. I love being able to move an audience's heart and just, thank you for giving me the chance to try. Do you have any special plans for the premiere of Paging Mr. Darcy? Yes, I'm throwing a party with some friends to watch it as it premieres lives. We'll get some snacks, maybe some Hallmark wine. Is it too scandalous to note we're having a drinking game? Don't miss the premiere of Raina Hardy's first movie, Paging Mr. Darcy, on Saturday. February 3 at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel.